Hello everybody, in this Flash and Action Script 3 tutorial I'm showing you the simplest and most efficient way to generate a solid random number. Let's press Control Enter and I have mine set to be 1 through 10. Actually let's press F12 get it out to the browser. You can see it has a 1. Now if we refresh in the browser every time we refresh it'll give us a random number that's between 1 and 10 all with one line of code. Click New Action Script 3 file and I'm working in CS3 so whether you're working in CS3 or CS4 Action Script 3 file this will work for you. Okay so first thing I'll do is grab a status tech field and pop that on stage and type in Adams random number generator and I use one line of code there we go now let's grab another one put it on stage, put some values in it so this is static text, change it to dynamic text make it a little larger this is where our random number is going to display multi-line, no we want single line, not selectable Give it an instance name of status underscore txt just to display the value that we derive from that one line of code, which is going to give us a random number. Okay, so let's get rid of that value. Let's make this center aligned. Beautiful. Okay, now let's pop in the code. Let's make a new layer create a new layer by pressing the insert layer button let's name that AS3 that's where we'll put the action script now let's type in var ran num it's going to be the variable variable name for the value that we derive this is going to be a number variable and it's going to be equal to let's just make it equal to math.random just to show you how that works and then we'll tweak it out to where it displays correctly and you'll see what I mean math.random there's the math.random function okay so let's press control enter and it's going to put a value into that text field no it's not because we have to type in status underscore txt dot text is equal to let's put an empty string value and then plus this variable name now let's press control enter you'll see it gives you a number with a, a decimal it's a floating number it's not good you want a solid number that's rounded so what we'll do here let's type in math right around that math dot floor and then put that in between parentheses the whole thing where you did math at random you put that in between parentheses so in between the parentheses for the math dot floor function we have the math dot random function now let's press control enter you see that it gave us a random number but that random number is still a very low floating point number so we have to multiply by 10 so let's put the multiplication symbol so if I want a 1 to 10 random number I put a 10 here now let's go ahead and press control enter and you'll see that you will get a 0 eventually let's see Let's keep pressing control enter in your random number that comes up from 1 to 10 you're gonna get a 0 in there eventually and that's not good because you want only from 1 to 10 let's see if I can make a 0 occur here come on give me a random 0 there should be a 0 in it here I tell you what if you really want to check you can just use a a for loop right here just 
Just pop the for loop right on top or surrounding where that variable <coughs> is being rendered and we're gonna make it a 50 50 loop it's gonna happen 50 times this loop is going to happen it's gonna iterate 50 times so we're gonna trace the output I'm gonna show you that there's zeros in there we gotta get rid of them Here for now let's just no we can leave that like it is press control enter you see all these numbers here these are all the 50 occurrences that happened gave us a random number in between 1 and 10 but you see that zero in there right that's not good so if we do it again we'll see that there are more zeros let's see there's a couple of zeros down here you see those now that's not cool and if you really want it accurate all you have to do to make sure there's no zeros and it'll be solidly 1 through 10 every time you just put plus 1 and it will have an index now press control enter of 1 1 through 10 every time there will never be any zeros in there now so now it's a more solid accurate way to get any random number you want and let's see if you want it to be a random number between 1 and 1000 you just put in 1000 right there see it gives you random numbers between 1 and 1000 so that's how it works it's very easy to do and just one line of code does it let me get rid of that for loop we don't need it anymore and there we go so now I'm generating a random number in between 1 through 10 no problem let's press F12 to render the file out to the browser and there it is now you can pre keep pressing refresh you'll see it gives you a random number between 1 through 10 every time okay so that's the simplest way to create a nice solid random number in flash and it's really just this one line the second line is just showing us the value in this dynamic text field on stage okay we'll see you next lesson